welcome back to another video where I take you grocery shopping by bicycle here in the Netherlands. It's quite a chilly day today. It's about what, four or five degrees Celsius, so so I had to get the hoodie out and the gloves. But that's not going to stop us from uh, taking the bike to the shop. So I'm on my way to the uh, street market now. As always, do that first. Get most of my produce. Uh, and the Middle Eastern market because uh, some things are cheaper there. And, uh, yeah, I'll just head to a couple of supermarkets uh, to get things that are on sale. Since I'm not burning any gas, I might as well uh, get a little bit of exercise in and get things where they are cheapest. So, yeah, uh, I don't. Um, I think like three or four supermarkets today, just a couple. Locking up, let me grab my basket and then we're off. And with a circle, hello. Yeah, I'll two. Two winter, what all? Yeah, and do my again, bossy. Bossy. Snack paprika. Yeah. Oh, that's lekker. Ja, dankjewel. Ja. Ja. 15. Dankjewel. Haus. Dankjewel. Alright, I have everything I need here. Yeah, and I'm just gonna walk uh, just around the corner here to the Middle Eastern market to get a few more produce items. But I have a nice big basket full of uh, healthy stuff. Peppers. I'll just get these pointy ones, and I'll get an orange one as well. And then I need some chilies. I need some cilantro and some parsley and some ginger and some cucumber. I like getting these uh, Persian ones. That's all I need here, so let me just go to the register and uh, I'll see you uh, back outside. Everything is loaded on the bike. Now let's head to, head to the next uh, store. And uh, I just need some fish here. So I don't go to the store very often because it's kind of out of the way. But I have salmon, so I'll just uh, pick some of that up. Let's head inside. Alright, I'll do uh, two because I do like some salmon. Alright, I'm just gonna pay up so I'll see you back outside. 
And I just put that in my basket. It's frozen fish and I have a few more stops to make, but uh, it's in an insulated basket and it's barely above freezing. So it will be fine for a few stops. It won't be long, like maybe 30 minutes. So. And time to pick up some speed because we don't have hills here, but we do have tall bridges to get up on. Yeah, the Netherlands is uh, famously flat, but we also separate bike and car traffic. And in my town, we do that by bridge, so there's a lot of uh, pretty big bridges going over main roads. Yeah, we're just on our way to the next spot where uh, I just need to pick up some cheese, so I'll be in and out. Just a sea of parked cars. And I don't know if you can see the sign on the right, but it says uh, one way except for bikes. Because cars can only come this way, but the bike path is bi-directional. So that makes it a lot quicker to uh, go this way by bike than it would be by car. Because by car, you'd have to go all the way around. All right, let's park up and head inside. always get this one. These are all Gouda cheese. It's not Gouda, it's Gouda. But this is the mature one that I like the most. So I have what I need. I'm going to go to the register. So I see you back outside. Okay, let's quickly put this away. And walk. And off we go. So we have uh, two more stops to make. Both uh, really close together. So uh, one, I just have to pick up a, a couple of items, handful, and then uh, we're going to go to the last stop, which is Plus, which is where I'll get the majority of my, uh, my groceries. So I always go to the market, the street market and the Middle Eastern market for produce, just because it's cheaper there. And then uh, one supermarket where I get the majority of my stuff. And then the other stops are just for when things are on sale. And if you guys remind me, next time, I'll just uh, turn the GPS on, uh, on my uh, phone, to track how much uh, distance I actually cover, because it's really not that much. It's like maybe, well today I went a bit further, so maybe it's like it's, uh, eight kilometers or something like that, five miles. So it's really not that bad. Well, yeah, on a normal uh, Saturday when I do my shopping, it's probably like five kilometers or something. So that's easy, uh, easily cyclable. Well, yeah, today a little bit further, so about uh, eight kilometers, five miles, which uh, might sound quite far, but yeah, uh, cycling. Here's the thing: like uh, I always track my uh, activity levels, and with cycling, even as a big guy. Like, I'm about 260, 270 pounds. Even I can't get my heart rate up high enough cycling to count as a moderate exercise. So it's uh, all about just doing, not thinking about if you can or not. Just do it. It's very low impact. And I never finished the story because two times now when I tried to tell this, the audio was corrupted, so I cut it out. But just cycling past the canal now, which is uh, not just used for pretty, but it's also uh, it serves a function because this is all reclaimed from the ocean. And uh, these canals are dug to uh, have the water f collect and then flow to the pumping station because we are uh, quite a bit below sea level. Like, uh, depends on the, which part of the island you're on, but. Uh, I believe this part about five meters or 15 feet below sea level. So, so what they did, this used to be a large bay that was prone to flooding because the area around it is uh, barely above sea level. Uh, so they dammed off the entrance of the bay and then because there was still rivers entering into it, 
it turned to, from a saltwater bay into a freshwater lake. And then uh, they drained part of that lake. In this case, uh, well, the first thing I did was uh, connect it to the old land, but that gave some problems with the, uh, the groundwater. Not in the new land, but in the old land, because the new land was lower. So the ground table, the groundwater table dropped in the old land adjacent to it. So when they built this part, they built it as an island. So they built a big uh, dike in the shape of a figure eight and then drained it. So uh, now it's the, by far, the biggest man-made island in the world. It's like at least 40 times bigger than the next biggest island, I believe. So actually I have to believe that uh, got turned into peninsula. So the official next biggest largest island is uh, even smaller than that. So oh yeah, that's where I live. Yeah, we're just rocking up to Little right now. And we're just gonna pop in real quick. I'm just leaving everything on the bike because, uh, well, they don't steal groceries that quickly here and I'm only gonna be uh, inside for a couple of minutes at most. And, uh, it's a pretty safe, uh, well, not just city, country in general. So I'm just gonna grab a basket and get a few things. It's American week at Little, so I'm gonna get some hamburger buns and some hot dog buns. While I'm here, I'm also gonna pick up some of the soda, the sugar-free. This is a uh, Cassis, which is a uh, black currant. And here is uh, some cherry. So these are made with actual fruit juice. So. Let's grab that because uh, it's still on sale. And I'm gonna grab some of these uh, hot dogs. Okay, I have everything I need. Like I said, I only need a few things. So I'm just gonna go to the register and see you back at the bike. And unlock the bike and off to the last stop. As I explained earlier, I really do live on the bottom of the sea. So, uh, about 100 years ago, this was still the ocean. And 50 years ago, this uh, was a lake. So, but yeah, these canals, the, they're not just used to uh, drain water and transport it to the pumping station to get pumped out. They also serve as an overflow in case there is ever some kind of flooding. But yeah, there's like backup up on backup here. So there's really no risk living below sea level. But yeah, I'm just gonna quickly go to the last store. I'm just, just around the corner here. So see you there. All right, let's find a spot to park up and then I'll uh, put you guys on a cart and We'll head inside. That lady did not know where she was going. But yeah, park up, mount the camera. See you inside. Where voiceover me takes over again because uh, the last few clips had some problems with the audio again. I found out what the problem is. It's the little adapter that lets me plug my receiver for my wireless mic directly into my camera. That has a little play in it, so I need to fix that. But uh, here I'm just grabbing a hand scanner so I can just scan things as I go and put it directly in my bag. And then uh, here I'm picking up some rolls and some pork for some uh, sandwiches for t tomorrow, some sausages for dinner tomorrow, and some vinegar because I want to make a couple of uh, different pickles. And this is just organic, regular uh, vinegar. Some peanut sauce for a meal later this week with some noodles and some uh, chicken skewers. And here I'm picking up some cashews because they were half off. So I thought cashews are always nice. My one bag of chips for the week. These are just the cheese puffs. And some Coke uh, Zero because that was on sale. So I uh, got these one liter bottles. And my two bars of chocolate for the week. One is uh, milk chocolate salted caramel peanut. And one is milk chocolate with fudge and brownie. And then uh, I'm picking up some uh, fries 
for the air fryer. I don't know when I'm going to use those yet, but they were half off. I might use them uh, next week uh, with my nephew when he comes over again for uh, dinner. So I think I have everything I need. So I'm going to head outside and see you back at the bike. So here you see everything loaded up. And uh, yeah, a week's worth of groceries easily fits on the bike. So I'm on my way home now to uh, film the grocery haul. Uh, that will be out before this video because I always film uh, and release those videos on Saturday. And then these videos will come out the following Monday. I do these about once a month in the grocery hauls uh, every week. So if you're curious uh, to see how everything breaks down, like how much I spent and whatnot, uh, you can check out that video. It will be linked at the end as well. But uh, yeah, those videos come out every Saturday and then videos like this come out about once a month. So if you like this, uh, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching. Until next time, bye for now.